In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to fix the error there was a problem connecting to GeForce Now. So while there isn't a concrete fix to this issue, there are things that you can do that will most likely work for this error code. Restart your computer or mobile device and try connecting to GeForce Now again. Many times, a simple restart does the trick and fixes this issue. The next thing you can do to fix this issue is to reinstall the GeForce Now app. To do this, you're going to hold the Windows key and R at the same time. You're going to get this run pop up over here and you're going to type in appwiz.cpl. So I already have it typed in since I've done this before, so I'm just going to click OK. And then you're going to scroll down until you see GeForce Now here. Click uninstall slash change. Click uninstall here. And then click close. So now what you're going to do is just go to this website right over here. And you're just going to click download for whatever you have. So since I'm on Windows, I'm going to click download here. Then once you see that the exe is done, you're just going to click on the exe. And you'll see this page right over here and once it's done, it should automatically load in for you. So now all you're going to do is just log in, go through these prompts right over here. You're going to log in and then try to run your game to see if it works. Another thing you can do to fix this error is to disable any firewalls or antivirus software. Antivirus programs can interfere with the NVIDIA GeForce Now app when it tries to establish connections with servers. As such, it's worth temporarily disabling it and seeing if that fixes the issue or you can even whitelist GeForce Now from your antivirus. If you are using the GeForce Now website to connect, Try clearing your browser cache and cookies. To do this in Chrome, click on the three dots at the top right over here, go to settings, and then go to privacy and security, click clear browsing data right over here, and then just click clear data. Once you're done, you're going to go back into play.geforcenow.com, and then obviously you're going to sign in and then try to run the game that you're trying to play. Sometimes there may be server issues with GeForce Now. Check the NVIDIA website or social media accounts to see if there are any known issues or if other people are experiencing the same issue as you. You can go to this website status.geforcenow.com to see which servers are operational and which servers are under maintenance. If all the servers are down, then it's a widespread issue that will take time to resolve. You can wait for a few hours for the servers to become active again. To change your server, go into GeForce Now, go to Menu, Go to settings and then from here you're gonna have to sign in so i'll be back when i sign in so now that i've signed in all i'm gonna do is just go to server location right over here and then click on any of these servers so i'm just gonna go back to nvidia server status right here and then choose the servers that are under maintenance so right now all the servers are operational except for the ones that have 30 rtx 3080 and rtx 4080 so make sure that you guys choose one of these servers like US East or US Central, which are operational. So you're going to go back into NVIDIA GeForce Now and then choose any one of these servers. Then go back to Menu, Games, and then run the game. If you are using a VPN or proxy service, try disabling it and connecting to GeForce Now directly. However, you can also try to use a VPN if you aren't on one already. Your network administrator or ISP might be blocking the NVIDIA GeForce Now servers and if contacting your ISP does not work, you'll need to use a VPN to bypass it. Make sure that you are using a gaming centric VPN though, as you will need the bandwidth. I will make a video soon about the 5 best VPNs so stay tuned about that. As always, if none of these steps work, make sure that you can contact NVIDIA support to resolve the issue. You can go and click send feedback right over here in GeForce Now and then just describe the issue that you are having. Then NVIDIA will get back to you on how to fix it. Anyways, I hope that this video helped. If it did, please leave a like and subscribe. 
I also made a Discord server that you can join in the description below, and we'll be doing giveaways and tech support and other things like that. Anyways, thanks for watching.